Okay, in this video, we're going to remove an object from its background and place it on a whole new background. So I have this picture of this young lady on the phone, and I'm going to place her into our landscape image here, which makes it look like she's part of this uh, company or organization that we're going to have. And I'm going to use several tools to remove her from her background, and it's going to be the magic wand tool here and the quick uh, selection tool. I'm also going to use the move tool right here to move her off of this image and place her into the landscape. So let's begin. First thing I want to do before I start any project is I want to go to my layers panel and make sure that the background layer is not locked. If the background layer is locked, when I go to remove this white background, um, it's going to add the background color that's selected here. In this case, it'll be white again. So if I hit delete, it'll just show up white again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Alt double click the background to remove that. It's Option double click if you're on a Mac. And once the background is unlocked, I will be able to grab the magic wand tool and select the color here and remove it. Now, the magic wand tool is used to select areas of high contrast. So here I have this nice solid white background color behind her. And if I click, it will select all of that white, which did very well. So I've got marching ants all around her body. And that's because of the white. It's solid white. If it was not solid white, I'd have to use the quick selection tool to select just the colors that I want and go from there. Now, I did not get this space here between her arm and her head. And I want to get that. So I'm going to make sure that my magic wand tool is set to add to the selection and I can see that up here in the upper left hand corner of my control panel I can click on the second icon in which looks like two sheets of paper kinda of stuck together there and that is add to selection and when I click now inside her arm in this space it will select the white area around there so now I have marching ants marching over there now one problem did occur her collar is very much like the white that I had over here and um, I want to move that those marching ants back into uh, off of that collar. So I can change the tolerance here. Uh, setting the tolerance to a high number, like the number 100, uh, will make it so it's very relaxed about what color white it picks. Or setting it down to a low tolerance, sort of like a zero tolerance policy at work. The closer you get to zero, the less tolerance you have. And that will make it so it selects less of this white. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the quick selection tool here. And I'm just going to make sure that it's set to subtract from the selection with a minus in the center of the circle here. And I'm going to push those marching ants back out to make sure that her collar is not being selected. So that collar is no longer selected. The marching ants are now going around. Okay, so I just left click inside of the selected area and I push those marching ants back out. And the outer edge of my brush, that circle that you see there, that is the outer edge of where I'm pushing those marching ants back to. Okay, so the quick selection and the magic wand tool now has that selection made. And when I hit the delete key, I will get checkerboard square, which tells me that the background is now invisible. Now here's the thing about this. I'm going to undo this for a second. Right now, I've got a high level of white around her. And if I hit the delete key right now, I might end up with a little bit of white in this area right here on her shoulder. And when I move that over to the image, I'm going to see that white. Well, I don't want to see that white, so I'm going to undo, add that back. What I'm going to do is go to my selection menu here, and I'm going to increase the size of my selected area. I'm going to expand it out by going to select, modify, and expand. And expand that selection area by one pixel. So basically, it's going to come in on her a little bit closer, a little bit tighter. So when I move her onto that image, you won't see any white edges around her dark slacks or her dark uh, jacket. So I'm going to click OK now, and that's going to push the marching ants in closer to her. So when I hit the delete key, I will get no white whatsoever around the around her body at all. So when I grab the move tool now, I can move her on. Now, this is a behavior that is a little difficult for new people, but I'm left clicking and dragging the image. So left click and drag will let me move the image around. But I'm going to move this up to here onto the landscape tab. And if I hold it for a second, the landscape will come back up and I'll move her down. But I will never let go of the left mouse button while I'm doing this. So for example, I'm just going to left click and drag her on top of the landscape tab. And the landscape will come up. And now you can see this box. See, as long as I have my left mouse button down as I move this around, I'm positioning her wherever I want her to go. And when I let go, it will make a copy of her on a new layer. 
So I can see right now it created a new layer called layer one, and there's my young lady and she's still on the phone. I'm gonna move her down here in the bottom left-hand corner to make it look like she's been here forever. And note that I have a nice clean uh, selected area. There's no white around her at all, and it actually looks very clean, okay? So I now have moved my young lady into this scene, and it looks like she has been standing there all along when we took the photograph, and uh, looks like everything looks normal. So this is removing one object from one image and placing it onto a background of another image. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to working with you again.